number 67, we have f of x equals to sine x, where we're looking at from negative pi over 2, uh, less than or equal to x, and that's less than or equal to pi over 2. So if you look at the unit circle, right, here's negative pi over 2, and here's positive pi over 2. So we're operating between either the first or the fourth quadrants, OK? And we're given a equals to 1 half. OK, questions with that, <clears throat> excuse me, so far. OK, so um, basically, this is, uh, we just replace f of x with y, right? Equal to sine x. Well, y is the same thing as a, right? So we're going to put in here. So we have 1 half coming out, but we don't know what our x value is. So we got to solve for that. So we replace the a with 1 half equals to sine x, right? And so we apply the inverse sine to both sides so that the sine and inverse sine, sine and inverse sine cancel each other out. And we just get x equals to so this is a uh, we're look this is inverse sine of one half. So that means we're given the value and we're trying to find the angle. Well, if you look at square root three over two and one half for cosine and sine, that's at pi over six. So sine inverse sine, sine is one half at the angle pi over six. Okay, so here we're when, when we're on this side, we have the value and we're looking for the angle. When it's, we're working with inverse sine, we're given the value and we're looking for the angle. So that means our angle is pi over six. So this is our B and A, okay? So we're saying here that F of pi over six equals to one half and the inverse one half equals two pi over six. Okay, so from here, we need to find our derivative. Okay, so I'm gonna rewrite this f of x equals two sine x. And so the derivative for sine is uh, just cosine x. Okay, so. Um, if we were to apply, um, so from here, we go ahead and find what that derivative is. Um, for x, we said is pi over 6. So that would be cosine at pi over 6. And cosine at pi over 6, right, is square root 3 over 2. So that's square root three over two. Okay, questions with that so far. Okay, so we're said that the inverse, the derivative of the inverse, right? Our inverse is one half is equal to one over, or, and that's the derivative for that is equal to the derivative, the, the reciprocal of f prime at pi over six. And so that's going to make it, so we said that that is square root, is one over square root three over two. So that would be the same thing as if we said cosine of pi over six equals to one over square root three over two. So because we have to apply the reciprocal, right, we're going to flip that. And so that becomes two over the square root of three. Okay, any questions with that?
because it's like one divided by the square root of three over two, right? So we have to multiply the reciprocal. Well, we need to rationalize that. So we have to multiply the square root of three over the square root of three because the radical in the denominator is not simplified completely. And so we get two square root three over the square root of nine, right? Which the square root of nine is three. So our answer is uh, two square root three over three. And that's our answer. Okay. Any questions with that?